This is a quick demo of a module called Multi-Tenancy in Quick Admin Panel. This module allows you to restrict the records to be accessible only to the users who created them. And there are actually two modules in one. There is User Multi-Tenancy or Team Multi-Tenancy. And let's try them out and let's see how it works. So you have Multi-Tenancy module. After clicking Install, you choose whether you want to use User or Team. Let's start with a user. It installs the core of, of the module, but then the main part starts when you create the menus. So for example, let's, let's create menu, for example, crowd candies, whatever. And then in more options, you see use multi-tenancy. So for every crude, you can choose whether it's multi-tenantable or not. And then let's try some candy name. Column, we save and we save the crud. It's generating files, then we will deploy the panel to our server and in preview I will show you how it exactly works. So we're deploying now and we will click preview. Okay, it is deployed, we can click preview panel and by default we see one user which is administrator. Admin, admin com, password. And in user management let's add two new users and I will show you that one of them will access only their own record. So user com, for example, with role user, and then user two, user, sorry, user two, user two, user com, some password roles. Now let's log in as user one, and let's create some record. So candies, add candy, Candy one, for example. Um, for example, candy two. Right now, let's log in with user two, and multi-tenancy will restrict that user two to see the first records. So candies will be empty. And add candy. If I click candy three, I will see only my candy three. And if we go back to user here we will see only first and even if I know the ID of the record so for example uh, I try to load the page with candy ID 3 I will get 404 and this is assured by uh, trade so if we go back to our builder and click view code in trades you should see let's try to okay, multi-talent model trade so this whole logic is here so some comments here, but it's pretty simple. It, it, it creates created by ID field and then filters records by that. Now let's try team multi-tenancy. I've created a separate panel and we will install the module and choose team multi-tenancy. And then we can create menu item, same thing. So create same candies and show more options. We choose multi-tenancy again. We add the same name and we save the CRUD and then we deploy and I will click preview again and I will show you how it works with Teams. There we go, preview panel, admin com and in user management you should see Teams. So let's create Team 1 and Team 2. And in users, let's create team user one in team one. So let's create two users into team one, team user two. Okay, and then another user second user one, for example, and user three, user com. And let's assign team two. And let's see who sees what records. So if we log out now, and we try to log in with the first user, and let's add our candy, my candy. If we now log in as user two, which is on the same team, 
we log in. Do we see the candy? Yes, because under team multi-tenancy, we see all the records by our team members. But if we log in as user three, we should not see that record. And our candies list should be empty. So this is a quick example of user and team multi-tenancy in Quick Admin Panel.